जैन प्लीज
Wala. Ayaw na daw. <laughs> Napagod na yata. So, sorry. Okay lang. Sige na lang, Kim. Seven. Good afternoon. So, um, in the next five minutes, we will be starting the program or the seminar. So uh, you may take the, the rest of the minutes to go to the comfort room and pamper yourselves. Wala naman. Naghihintay lang mag-settle down. Mag-settle na kaya. Five, eh, yung registration. One to one thirty registration. Mm-hmm. 
Once again, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you today? Doing fine? Doing well? How do you feel today? Feeling angry? Hungry? Okay, sorry, I missed that one. Um, are we serving some snacks later? I, I just don't know. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we, we are serving candies. <laughs> That would suffice, perhaps. And uh, yeah, we are we are also glad to see you around. Maybe you can you can greet the people beside you now and say, "I'm happy to see you this afternoon." Okay. How about you, ma'am? Greet the person beside you. I've seen him. Shut. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, um, without any further commencement, I will be calling in. Mr. Sal Maestro, our archivist, for the welcome remarks. A round of applause. A pleasant afternoon, everyone. I'm glad to see everyone here. Can I know sino yung mga archivists? Raise your hands. How about students and faculty of the DLSU? and library staff. So we have a varied audience here. So I'm glad na maraming iba-iba from other offices. So for, to, for this afternoon, we'll be having the Our Amazing Archivists uh, Community Extension Program called Ara the Archivist series, Do It Yourself, Basic cons Paper Conservation Techniques. Just a backgrounder, the, the idea of the library's community extension program has for the past two decades revolved around the provision of professional support in the form of training and consultancy services and active involvement in professional library organizations or associations. 
But beginning 24, uh, AY 2014-2015, the libraries introduced a number of activities to be implemented on a regular basis and identified the target for each of the activities. In the past, we had Laura the Librarian, the concept of this one, who... Uh, does everybody here know Laura, the Library Online Reference Assistant? She has um, an extension program, a community extension program called Laura the Librarian, wherein she trains and mentors practicing librarians or library staff and volunteer LIS students on the different aspects of library work. So as the counterpart of the Laura the Librarian CEP or community extension program, we have launched the, R the ARA the Archivist community extension program last June 29 during the opening ceremonies of the archives at 50. So magiging ano na siya, series. For the first uh, run of this workshop, we had the Green Spine Book Fair. Ang ginawa doon is bo uh, practical book conservation techniques. For this afternoon, we'll have paper conservation techniques and then later on, iba-iba pang types of media. So we'll be expecting... Yung ating uh, target community, yung DLSQ archivists, and also the DLSQ community. For this afternoon, uh, the activity aims to instill the value of paper conservation as one of the sustainable solutions in maintaining archival and library collections and to teach ba basic paper conservation techniques. So that's, that will be our objective. And we hope at the end of this afternoon's beautiful affair with you, marami kayong matutunan and madala sa inyo inyong libraries and archives. Pagbalik nyo. And for the students and the faculty members who are uh, paper conservation enthusiasts, we hope na ma-apply yon sa inyong mga collections and personal library kung meron kayo nun. And uh, just an overview of what we'll be doing this afternoon, we will be having a workshop so, ipapakita yung iba't ibang paper, uh, paper conservation techniques. You have there with you yung food keeper <laughs> dito sa may aisle banda. So, we will be having four groups. Madi-divide yung uh, audience into four groups or yung participants. So, later on, pag-iisahin yung dalawang tables. So, group one, two, three, and four. And then, uh, inside the food keepers or the... Which will, be, which will serve as your basin kapag nag-wash tayo ng documents, andun yung mga tools or mga uh, gamit, gagamitin natin sa techniques ng pag-preserve na paper. And after which, uh, we have the honor to, um, to see the presentation of a faculty member from the chemistry department. So he will be presenting his research paper on uh, old postage stamps and... It, uh, it is leaning towards paper conservation. So I hope everybody will enjoy this afternoon. It's really enjoyable and I'm excited and have a great day. Thank you, Ms. Rosel. Indeed, everybody's very excited for this afternoon's affair. Aren't we all excited? Yes. Are we excited? Yes, yes we are. So um, uh, I really felt the importance of the conference as it is about the paper and it's about the conservation of the paper. As it is hailed, the paper is one of the longest. Um, I, it is hailed as one of the materials that tells one of the oldest information as, as we could ever know. And it could be, it, it is proven through the paper scrolls that we have and all other paper documents. So indeed, it was mentioned that it is a beautiful afternoon. So we will be summoning now a beautiful librarian to introduce our beautiful speaker. For the introduction of the speaker, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Ms. Jocelyn T. Walange, our archives librarian. Good afternoon to everyone. Our speaker for today is the Reader Services Coordinator of the LSU Libraries. She specializes in archival studies and administration and has conducted workshops on paper and book conservation. She earned her graduate degree in library and information science, specializing in archival science from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She once served as a member of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or the NCCA. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Karen Cecil B. Natividad. Good afternoon. 
Thank you, Miss Jo. Hi, good afternoon. Bakit nandiyan po kayo sa likod? <laughs> Ayaw niyo pong lumapit. So as mentioned, uh, uh, this uh, afternoon session will be about um, basic or practical paper conservation. So ito yung mga techniques na hindi naman masyadong technical na kaya natin gawin sa bahay natin using our uh, tools na or supplies na minsan makikita lang natin sa kitchen natin. So to start with, syempre hindi mawawala, lecture muna tayo. So this would be the outline of our session for today. So we'll discuss uh, preservation versus conservation. What's the importance of preservation? Um, some basic principles of preservation as well as conservation. Scope of conservations, um, the materials that end supplies we're going to use. Um, the basic conservation treatments then afterwards is the workshop. So preservation versus conservation. Uh, conservation. You have an idea how the two differs? What's preservation as opposed to conservation? Yung mga tao sa archives. <laughs> so preservation is the professional discipline of protecting materials by minimizing chemical, physical deterioration by, and damage uh, and to minimize the loss of information and to extend the life of cultural property. So it is the act of keeping the harm, keeping from harm, injury, decay, or destruction, especially through non-invasive um, treatment. So ito yung wala tayong treatment na ginagawa. It's the umbrella term for, um, for, for, um, for um, keeping our collections or the papers um, away from damage, prolonging their life, so wala tayong intervention na ginagawa. While um, conservation, on the other hand, is the repair. So ito yung sira na siya, um, brittle na siya, so this is the time we're going to intervene. So ito yung invasive um, treatment na, through physical treatment, to ensure that they survive in their original form as long as possible. So why do we need to preserve Ano ba ang importance? Why do we do this? Eh, minsan mahirap, hindi mo naman alam kung anong gagawin, di ba? There is actually a law on that. That's the National Cultural Heritage RA 7356, which states that it is the duty of every individual to protect or to conserve the Filipino historical treasure. So kasama na dyan yung libraries, kasi nasa libraries tayo, di ba? So yung ibang archives nasa libraries, um, uh, dyan naka-under yung ating ginagawa sa law na yan. Then, to improve access, syempre, if we have um, an intact uh, collection, mas makakabigay tayo ng access sa kanila, di ba? Um, proper preservation will result to good governance through transparency and accountability. So, if we have the documents intact, we have them, we have the proof, of um, the governance that we had, minsan dyan nag-fail yung ating national government, di ba? Walang accountability, walang transparency, kasi walang record. Pwedeng wala talagang record na nangyari, or nawala, na-destroy, or damage yung records. Kaya hindi natin matrace yung mga ginagawa nila. Then, saving resources. Kasi nga, nag-preserve tayo, inailagaan natin sila, na pre-prevent natin na masira sila, which will cost us um, money kung if we're going to treat them. So, mas nakaka-conserve tayo kapag, ah, nakaka-conserve tayo ng resources pag pre-preserve natin sila. And syempre, we save history through preservation. So what are the basic principles of preservation? Number one is you have to know your collection. Ang focus lang naman natin ngayon is paper, no? So our paper collection, naturally age, a uh, natural aging process of paper will cause it to become weak and brittle. Dahil ang paper ay gawa sa puno, di ba? So this is an organic material. So ma 
attractive siya sa mga insects. Ayan. So number two, be aware of uh, forces of destruction. We have physical, biological um, agents of destruction. So physical muna tayo, one is light. So if the light is too bright, this will um, cause discoloration and browning, browning sa paper. If it's too warm naman, yung yellow light, di ba dati, meron, yung bumbilya natin, yung yellow, di ba? Ngayon wala na siya. So if it's too warm, it will cause brittleness. Kung mataas naman yung ultraviolet rays niya, it will cause brittleness as well. So ano yung preservation measures natin? Ang acceptable lang ng lights, we, um, we measure lights through locks. So ang acceptable lang is uh, 50 to 200 locks. Pag sumabra na ng 200, that's too bright. Um, that's harmful to the paper na. We also have to minimize uh, the duration and intensity of exposure to light. So kapag sa records office, it is um, preferred na patay yung ilaw kung hindi ginagamit dun sa room. Mas maganda na walang ilaw, patay na lang. So choose fluorescent lights with appropriate UV filters and use diffusers, blinds, curtains, and UV filters whenever you can. Other physical um, agents is relative humidity or the amount of water in the air. So kailan, pag minsan, di ba may lagkit ang feeling natin? Pag may lagkit yung feeling natin na inay tayo, lagkit na lagkit tayo, big sabihin mataas yung RH or relative humidity. So pag mataas yung RH, syempre magiging dump yung materials which causes the molds to grow. Kapag mababa naman, nagiging brittle din siya at nagka-crack yung paper. So what should we do? We should monitor the relative humidity. Merong nagme-measure niya, nakakabili tayo ng, um, nakakapag-measure ng relative humidity. What's acceptable RH naman is 40 to 45 percent. So we also have to use air conditioners, the, the humidifiers, humidifiers or silica gel crystals. Yung mga nakikita natin sa sapatos, di ba sa bagong silica gel, it absorbs moisture. So kung meron kayong mga nakabox na document, pwede nyo lagyan ng silica gel siya para mag-absorb ng moisture. One, another one is temperature. So if it's too high, it accelerates the deterioration of paper. It's, if it's too low naman, it causes condensation on the surface. So, syempre, um, what's acceptable naman is 18 uh, degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. So, preferably, we use air conditioner, air conditioners or electric fan. If we cannot uh, provide naman air conditioners, um, um, kunwari, sabihin nyo, naku, kailangan pala naka-aircon, pero ngayon wala kayong aircon. Hindi naman natin kailangan mag-shift sa aircon. Basta, um, i-maintain natin yung, yung temperature nung room, okay na yon. Kasi minsan, pag walang air conditioner, tapos bigla mo siyang i-air conditioner, nagkakos siya ng stress sa paper. So, di ba ang tao din, pag mainit, tapos bigla na lamigan, nainitan na naman, nagkakasakit. So, same as the paper. Nai-stress din siya. Another one is pollution. So, the dirt, the dust, yung nakaka-abrasive kasi siya. Biruin mo yung alikabok, nakakagasgas siya ng paper, kahit ganun siya kaliit, nakakagasgas siya. So, um, we can use filters and we should not store um, our records near the copying machines to avoid dust from the donor. And proper housekeeping din sa mga dust. So, biological agents naman are the microorganisms, insects, and rodents. So, they cause tears, holes, and stains of paper. So we have to fumigate, we should conduct regular inspection, practice good housekeeping, no eating. Di ba? Sa archives, dapat no eating kasi it attracts insects. Sino pang nag-i-eat? <laughs> nag <-eat> sa archives. <laughs> uh, provide dry and thermite-proof foundation and good drainage. This is a fumigate part. Um, alam niyo po ba yung albatross? Di ba? Ginagamit natin siya sa CR, di ba? Um, albatross or the paradichlorobenzene crystals is cancerous. So kung meron kayong 
Ah, uh, nandiyan sa mga CR nyo, pwede niyo pwedeng siya lang pagtatanggalin, no? O yung bilog, yung pabango natin sa CR. You can use that as a uh, fumigant naman sa records. You can just magdikdik kayo noon, dikdik kayo noon. Tapos yung if fumigate nyo, ilagay nyo sa box. Tapos ilagay nyo dun yung powder na albatros. Tapos i-gloss nyo siya, leave it for 24 hours. Tapos i-open nyo the next day. Pasingawin nyo muna bago kayo bumalik dun sa dun sa material. Next, yung chemical agent naman natin is acid. So, kaya nga naninilaw yung mga paper natin kasi di ba acidity, ano na sila, mataas na yung acidity level nila, acidic na sila. So, we have to apply mechanical cleaning na mamaya gagawin natin. We encapsulate records na gagawin din natin mamaya. And do not laminate. Kasi yung taglilaminate, hindi na natin siya ma-reverse, hindi na natin siya mababalik, di ba? And we should also inspect our collection regularly. Next is men. We are also uh, sources, uh, a source of distractions sa ating records. The way we handle it, um, gusto natin sila in store. So it causes tear, stains, deformation, missing pages, vandalism, di ba? Um, ang haba niya eh, ang <laughs> mambasahin. So you should monitor and use the monitor the use and handling of the materials. You educate the staff as well as the users on how to handle them. Um, formulate, kailangan meron tayong policy. Formulate policies, use proper equipment in handling, proper layout ng space, ng storage, ng reading area, ng administra administrative space. Um, provide both grills, heavy-duty locks, and monitoring equipment. So, dapat meron tayong mga monitoring equipments like CCTV. Uh, implement stricter access policies. Next is disasters. Siyempre, yung mga sunog, um, baha. It causes water stains, dampness, growth of molds, discoloration, burnt pages. So what to do is to choose ideal location, um, the ideal location of your archives. It should be far from the body of water, from mga tubo ng tubig para maiwasan pag may tumutulo. Adhere to safety standards, provide fire alarms, provide protective thermal covers, um, develop disaster preparedness program, and practice good housekeeping. So third um, principle of preservation is protect your collection. Yung iba na discuss na kanina sa um, preventive measures natin. So yung storage, you have to place all materials in some form of protective enclosure. Provide adequate shelf space. Wag masyadong dikit-dikit. Wag din man masyadong loose. So we have to provide um, adequate spaces. Pag, lalo na pag mag adjust tayo para hindi natin palaging na-handle yung record. Metal shelves are preferred uh, compared dun sa wooden shelves. Kasi uh, wood nga is organic, so mas na-attract yung mga insects, termites sa kanya. If you have wooden shelves, it has to be coated with acrylic latex paint. Shelves should also be secured and solidly braced. And syempre, no items should be stored on the floor. Para pag di mo inaasahang bumaha, Walang mababasa. Protective enclosures. It can be paper and boards um, which are acid-free. Use inert or chemically stable plastic. Use enclosure. Uh, all enclosures must permit removal of contents without risk of damage. So kung gagawa tayo ng um, enclosures, pwede natin kunin. Ang um, kunin yung records sa loob ilabas, magpasok ng records ng inadadamage yung uh, material. Handling naman, always use clean hands. No hand lotion. So yung sa mga archivist, bawal ang lotion. Kaya syempre maraming chemicals yung lotion. Pag hinawakan mo yung paper, lilipat yung acid or whatever chemical na nandun sa lotion dun sa paper. Wear lint-free cotton gloves. Or surgical gloves, pwede na din siya. 
Youth, uh, use both hands to support an item with stiff paper when moving or carrying items. Use a trolley when carrying oversized or heavy objects. Huwag niyo siyang piliting buhatin. And never use pens. Pencil lang dapat sa archives. So that's the principle of preservation. We we'll now go to the conservation. So sabi dito, kasi sabi kanina, di ba, do not laminate. Kasi that is irreversible. All treatments should be reversible. Dapat kaya natin siyang um, i-undo. Yung pag nalaminate tayo ng diploma, di ba? Sasabit natin, nakalaminate. Hindi na natin siya matatanggal doon. Nandun na siya forever. Kaya ang dilaw-dilaw niya niya, hindi na siya maa-undo. Treatment solutions should be compatible to the problem um, to the problem to be remedied. So pag na may pilas yung paper, what you usually do is ni sketch tape natin, di ba? The sketch tape is masyadong acidic. So, yung tear, masyadong malakas yung sketch ah, sketch tape compared dun sa tear ng paper. So, hindi sila compatible. Masyadong hindi sila compatible gamitin. Next is all treatment procedures should be documented including photography before, during and after your conservation. Um, authenticity of the document should be maintained. So kahit nagko-conserve ka, winawash mo siya, um, dapat walang maa-alter na information na nandun sa document. Do not attempt to reconstruct signatures and seals, and new techniques should be thoroughly tested prior to implementation. So the scope of conservation, yung sabi kanina ay document, uh, conservation ethic requires that all treatments be documented. Historical backgrounds, ano yung damage niya, kung ano yung treatment, yung procedures, and the conclusion. There is a need to maintain a complete and accurate record of any changes to the materials to assure its authenticity, as nabanggit kanina. So assessed and assessment and examination. Records and physical record the physical attributes such as current housing, saan mo siya nakalagay ngayon, saan mo siya nakuha, type of binding, the binding materials, yung kung anong type ng paper siya. Also assess the condition of the material, if it's good, damaged, or beyond repair. If it's damaged, you specify kung anong damage ang meron siya, in insect infested, mold infested, etc. You also conduct tests and analyze the interpret tests. Um, recommendation to third parties recommendation. This is the conservation treatments that you recommend to do dun sa, um, sa paper. Then preparations, you have to prepare the materials, syempre the supplies, the chemicals. Um, yung, we use methyl cellulose paint thick and thin. Kaya lang wala tayong nabiling methyl cellul cellulose kaya hindi natin siya magagawa. But we can uh, do wet the acidifier. Um, we can co we combine 5 grams of calcium carbonate and 5 grams calcium hydroxide to a liter of distilled or filtered water. So hindi pwede yung tap water lang. So dapat distilled or filtered siya para hindi siya acidic. Recommendations, ito na yung application ng ating treatments and then the conclusion, kung ano yung nangyari after the treatments. So this is a sample uh, documentation. So this is the sample uh, documentation. So the historical background, the document was issued on, because it's a birth certificate, yung physical description niya, it's already brownish, with manif uh, which manifested the effect or, of acid on paper. There were torn parts, torn edges, it edges, 
So this is the photo documentation before. So again, yung itsura ng paper. During the CDD test and in ink solubility test, yan, winawash na siya, dinadry na siya, lining and sizing, tapos eto na siya after. So that's the photo documentation. The diagnosis or the tests and examinations and assessments, yung as yung test, na ginawa natin, acidity, ink solubility. We prepared the following materials. And these are the recommended treatments. Washing, the acidification, lining and sizing, encapsulation. So ito na kung paano mo siya ginawa. Yung procedure mo ng washing, the acidification, and the rest. And the conclusion. So, ano lang nangyari dun sa document after mo siya i-conserve? Sabi dito, after undergoing the mentioned treatments for the conservation of, rest of the document, the conservator successfully achieved the goal of making the documents physically and chemically stable. The treated document can now be handled safely. So, that's a documentation sample. We're now going to the materials. Ano yung materials na kakailanganin natin? We have the pH indicator slip, uh, strips. Ito yung gagamitin natin to test the acidity level ng paper. Art gum eraser or yung steadler. Pwede yung steadler. Soft, bra soft brush. Dapat soft lang siya talaga. Soft lang yung bristles niya. Um, thick and thin MC paste na hindi natin magagawa or magagamit. Tapos kailangan din natin ng uh, grater ng cheese. Ano kaya grate natin? No? <laughs> Tapos distilled water. Ito yan. Japanese paper na hindi din tayo nakabili. Um, ethyl alcohol. Cotton swabs, plexiglass na hindi natin magagamit. Um, thick and thin, uh, ay, this is the mylar, sorry. Mylar sheets, polyester sheets. Double adhesive tape na acid-free din sana. Um, nylon, uh, non-woven cloth or the rime. Ito siya. Ayan, nandiyan yun sa food keeper nyo. Um, clothesline and clothespin, magsasampay kasi tayo. Cotton gloves or surgical gloves will do scissors and cutters. At hindi ko nasama yung flat iron natin. Namamalansya tayo. Yan, so conservation procedures. Testing for acidity and ink solubility. These are... The pre-operative uh, pre treatment. So, bago tayo mag-treat, ito muna yung kailangan natin gawin. We test the acidity level of the document and determine if it can be washed. Discuss ko muna tapos mamaya ito yung i-workshop natin. Siyempre, pag hindi siya pwedeng i-wash kasi yung ink niya nagbi-bleed, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-wash para sa cleaning natin. Then removal of old repairs like the um, the scotch tape. Tatanggalin natin yan later. Um, mechanical or dry cleaning. So this is when we remove the grime or dirt by using the eraser. Washing. Ayan, iwawash natin siya. To remove dirt and yung mga stains. The acidification is to neutralize the acid present in the paper. Mending is to mend the tears. Siyempre. Lining and sizing is to um, is used to make the document physically stable. So, mas matibay yung document natin. Lalo na yung mga brittle at maninipis. Then lastly, encapsulation. This is to preserve the materials and prevent prevent further damage. So now, we're now going to proceed with the workshop.
Mag-group na tayo? Maka-group na ba tayo? Ayusin daw natin yung table. pag Seven, seven. Okay. Right before you abandon your, your chairs, yeah, um, you try to look po sa ilalim ng chairs nyo. If you were, that would somehow give you some energy for the workshop. Under your chair, pero joke lang po ito. No. There you go. There are participants na there you go. So, <laughs> so to those, how how many yellow sheets did you what under? Ilan yung nilagay nyo? Twelve. Twelve. Tito ako sa kaupo kanina. La andaya hindi yung chair yan. Okay, there are 12 uh, gift certificates. So, where will where will they claim it? From from Joby after the after the workshop na. So, makiklaim nyo yan after the workshop. Just keep the certificates with you. Okay, so ito pong material na ibibigay ko, we will use this for um, testing ng acidity and ink solubility muna. So inside your food keeper is a dropper. Dapat yung pang, pang test din natin ay distilled water, no? So ganito, explain ko muna. Dun sa dropper nyo, you just drop a small amount dun sa paper. Tapos meron kayong uh, pH indicator strip dyan, yung yellow na paper na strip. I... Dadaan mo ko na, wait lang. Okay. 
uli. Sabay-sabay na lang tayo. Meron po kayo dyan nung maliit, di ba? Maliit na ano. Lagyan ko ng water. Pero po ako nung maliit. Ito na lang gagamitin nyo mama. Yung takip na lang, yung takip. Para sabay-sabay tayo. Pakuha na lang po dito. Sorry. Ay! Ay! Sorry. So, so. Okay na po. Oo, konti lang naman kailangan natin. Iyo ba ito? Oo. Kita ba? Ayun na. Ito na lang blotting paper natin. Ayan po. So, dropper. Lagyan ng water. Um, sa isang party lang po, sa medyo baba, drop kayo ng maliit. Dali, wala pa akong paper. Yan, maliit na drop. And then yung paper na yellow, lagay po natin dun sa basa, dun sa tubig. Yung tissue na nandyan, gagawin natin blotting paper. Ilalagay natin dun sa ibabaw ng pH strip natin. Tapos, nalagyan natin ng any paper way para meron siyang contact. Then, we'll just wait for three minutes <laughs> para makita natin yung result. Let's wait for a few minutes. Na-reproduce ba to, Miss Roselle? Na-reproduce, hindi na. Nakalimutan ko, dapat po pala nakagloves kayo pag nagko-conservation kayo. <laughs> Dahil nga asidik ang ating mga kamay. May nag-aaway ba? <laughs> po. Mm -mm. May sumitili. May 3 minutes na ba? Ay, tatanggal pala. So after that, makuha na po. Nabago po ba yung kulay nung strip? Titignan po natin dito sa kodigo natin yung kanyang acidity level. So ang acceptable acidity level is 7. So pag 6 pa baba, that means 
acidic na yung paper. So, kung ano yung kulay niya dito? Saan po yung paper nila? Five and six. Asidik siya. Siyempre naman yellow. <laughs> Paano nyo nalaman? Meron na kayo. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Meron na pala eh. Okay. Six? May yellow siya eh. Basidik yan dapat. Pwede mas lalong hindi siya asidik kung seven siya. Ayun. Ba't basang basa po yung papel nyo? Ilan drops ba yan? <laughs> okay. Okay, so... So, since as acidic yung paper natin, mamaya, i acidify natin siya. Yung next test po is yung ink solubility naman. Titignan natin kung yung document natin ay pwede nating i-wash. Using a cotton, cotton swab, sausaw nyo po siya sa tubig. Sa tubig natin kanina. Tapos you just choose, irab nyo lang siya dun sa gently. Irab nyo siya sa ink. Kung magbibleed yung ink, ibig sabihin, soluble siya sa water, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-wash. Nag-bleed po ba? No. So, ibig sabihin, mamaya pwede natin siyang i-wash. Hindi, ma hindi matutunaw yung, ano, yung ink natin. Next is um, removal of uh, old repairs. Yung scotch tape natin. <laughs> Dito po natin gagamitin yung ating flat iron. Punta na lang po kayo dito sa harap ha. Na, di okay na to. So using our ordinary flat iron sa bahay, tatanggalin natin yung sketch tape. Siyempre, dapat hindi po masyadong mainit dahil nga, destructive yung init, di ba? So, what we do is we buffer, we buffer using another sheet of paper, so ipipress natin siya indirectly dun sa sketch tape. Dali lang, ha? <laughs> Mabuti pa yung papel, pinaplansya ko. Yung damit ko, hindi ko pinaplansya. <laughs> Ayan. So, ibabuffer natin. Meron po din kayong scratch paper dyan. Ibabuffer natin siya. We press it. Tapos, if you have tweezers, yung tweezer po ang pangaangat natin. So, ayan, umaangat na po siya. De, ayun, wala na siya. Tapos, pag merong natira na medyo madikit-dikit pa, we use the alcohol. Where is the alcohol? Ayun. <laughs> Oo. We just use the alcohol using the cotton swab ulit. Ay, sorry. 
Yun yung po yung i-rub natin dun sa medyo madikit pa na part para mawala yung dikit. So you can try here na po. Dahil isa lang po ang ating flat iron. <laughs> Care of Louie. <laughs> Isoprofil alcohol. Yan. O, diba? Pag madikit pa, pag may madikit pa, rub ng isoprofil alcohol. Natanggal yung papel. <laughs> Sa kabilang side yata. Eh. Yeah. Ay! Po. So, wawash natin. Hindi, yung alcohol sa ano eh, sa sa dikit. O, oh, o, oh, o. Oh. Mm -mm. Ayaw. Ayan. Sige pa. Press mo. Baka double edge yung ginamit dyan. Babad mo pa. Umamaya ka na. Sila muna. <laughs> Tagal naman. Napapahiya ako nito. <laughs> Kahit wag mo nang ganun, press mo lang. Oh, di ba? Ganun na ba? Talaga kailangan yan. Pag dodok yun, ito dodok yun. Dodok mo ah. Push mo lang daw te. Ano na nandumikit? Ano na 
Sabi, um, yun. O, di ko yung sanay. Wow, ang bait na nagbigay. Oh, sige, basta ganun po ah. <laughs> Hindi ko na siya eh. <laughs> ah, sunod na po. Mechanical or dry cleaning. So, syempre, lilinisin muna natin yung document bago natin sila i-wash. So, using your grater at saka yung inyong art gum eraser... I-create po natin siya dun on top of the paper. Ang hirap niya i-grade, ang tigas. Mm-hmm. Yung research, i-grade natin. Pag madami na, marami-rami na po, konti pa lang. Pag marami na po siya, using your soft brush, ibabrush natin yung eraser outward, outward motion. So from in, out. Pumuputi po ba? Outward. Tapos, pag nalinis nyo na siya, kung maputi pa yung mismong eraser na ginrate natin, pwede natin siyang i-reuse. Lagay natin dun sa lalagyan natin. Pero pag madumi na, tatapon na natin siya, hindi na pwede. Pumuti naman siya, di ba? Or another way of uh, dry cleaning po, yung eraser, dun natin i-grade sa sa cotton na sa cotton, din natin siya i-grade. Example, ayan. Kunwari, ito yung cotton, no, na tela. Kaya ganyan nyo siya. Tapos, pamupa, circular motion naman sa document. Hindi, na tela. 
Mm-hmm. Cotton na tela. <laughs> Circular naman siya, pero wag din masyadong madiin. Okay. So after dry cleaning, magwe-wet cleaning naman po tayo. Iwa-wash natin siya. So kung meron pa tayong mga hindi natanggal na dumi through dry cleaning, iwa-wash, tatanggalin natin siya through washing. So nalagyan po natin ng tubig yung inyong mga basin. Ang iwawash po natin yung inano natin ha, yung ining solubility test natin. I-give po kayo dito. Mga half. It's a distilled or filtered water. Okay. Okay. Sige pa. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh -uh. Okay. So, yung document po, is a sandwich natin siya sa ating um, polyester sheet. So, polyester sheet, it top with uh, the rime or the non-woven cloth. And then, the document. Tapos, yung non-woven cloth ulit. Tapos yung polyester sheet ulit. So, naka-sandwich siya. Polyester sheet, non-woven cloth, the document, non-woven cloth, polyester sheet. Ay, ako pala wala pang tubig. Tapos, isa-submerge lang natin siya sa tubig. Wala akong tubig. Ganyan nyo lang siya. Ganyan. Para nagbabanlaw. Ganyan lang, o. Oh. Ayan po, ganyan-ganyan nyo para may movement. Ayan. Ayan. Hindi <laughs> naman, mam. <laughs> Wala ako mo ako eh. Ganyan nyo, ganyan. Oh. Oo, parang makusot-kusot ng konti. Ano 
Tignan nyo po yung water kung naninila o kung naninila yung water, successful kayo. Ayan, hindi pa siya masyadong basa. Sige po, basa inyo. Mm. Isasubmerge talaga natin siya. Kahit pagano'n o pagano'n. Oo. Ganyan, ganyan mo lang. Po. Hmm, babasahin natin. Wawash nga natin eh. Wala akong tubig oh. Yan. Tapos po, papatuyuin natin sila through natural air drying, kaya isasampay po natin sila dito using the clothes pin. Meron na po tayong sampayan dito. Po. Ayun din. Oo. Huwag niyo pala muna isampay kasi i-de-acidify pa natin siya. Mamaya pa tayo magsasampay. After washing, i-de-acidify natin siya. Oo. Dry cleaning lang. Yun lang sa eraser. Sino natin ito tapos sa halaman? <laughs> Haba balik? O oh, sige. Tapos na po tayo mag-wash. Pwede po natin itapon yung water sa sila. <laughs> Or dito sa halaman siguro pwede. Dito. Pinatay yung halaman. <laughs> so after po, i-de-acidify na natin siya using our solution, yung carbon uh, magnesium na 5 grams um, sa 1 liter na tubig. Yun ang ating proportion. Same lang din naman po, para lang kayong nagwa-wash, isasubmerge nyo sa solution natin, ganun. Tapos, itetest ulit natin yung kanyang acidity kung tum uh, tumaas na yung kanyang ano, kung nasa 7, 8, 9, ano na siya, na level. Oh, sige po, i-give ulit dito. Sino na po yung tapos mag-wash? Hmm? Um, carbon uh, hydroxide chemicals. Man, bibili mo yan sa mga chemical ano, stores, mga magbibili din ng mga chemical. 
Okay na. Sabi, pag wala kayong mabili nung ano, carb, ano ba dyan? <laughs> nung chemical, carb, uh, pwede yung cremel eggs. Idesolve nyo sa tubig. Kapareho kasi silang ano eh. Mm -mm. Ha? <laughs> Ayun na hindi ko alam. Mag-ano ka ng 5 grams. Hindi ko ba hindi DS with you, Pai? Naiinumin ko to. Hindi pa. Oo. Sabihin mo na. Kalahati ko. Oo. Oo. Okay. Um, mga five minutes mo siyang ganyan-ganyan eh. Oo. Kamukha lang nung washing kanina. Pag ganun-ganon. Alin? Ano naman ako sila? 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 Ano Meron pa po kayo nung PH strip? Uh, proportion ng 1 liter. 5 grams to 1 liter. Five grams na calcium carbonate at five grams na calcium hydroxide. One liter po. Tapos yung pag-test natin ng kanyang acidity level ngayon, iipit nyo na lang po itong strip. Saan ba yung ano ko? Diba kasi basa na po siya. Ipit nyo na lang po yung strip dito. Tapos i-press nyo na lang ng kamay ninyo. Green na siya. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Pwede naman. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nasa na yung kodigo natin? Oh, green na siya, oh. Basta nasa alkaline part na po siya. So, okay na yung ating ano, acidity. 
So, pwede na po natin silang isampay. Sama po yung ano, yung non-woven na ano, na cloth. Ang tatanggalin lang natin sa pagsampay yung polyester sheet. Ayan, yung pur balit ang purpose nung nanuven para mahawakan natin yung ano document. Seven and up. O, oh, yan, agree na siya. Ano na siya? Green na. Opo, pwede natin silang isampay. Yung mylar lang ang tatanggalin. Kailangan pa puti yung mga puting maputi, ha? Pero wag niyo pong bibilad sa araw ha, mukha ng damit. Pwedeng sa room lang, tas may umiikot lang ng electric fan. Two. Hindi, <laughs> one. Okay na yung one. Para umiikot lang yung hangin. Po. Opo, pwede niyo pa ulit gamitin yan. Mga siguro... 20 sheets. Nay, ano po 'yon? Anan ah, woven cloth or remay. R E E M A Y. Okay, last na po. Last treatment. Ano na tayo? Last. We will now do the encapsulation. Meron na po kayong isa pang document. Tapos yung ating tuyong, tuyong sheets. So, syempre, ang first step, ikakat natin yung sheet natin based sa size ng ating paper. Pero dapat may allowance siya 
on all sides. And then, didikitan natin siya ng um, double-sided tape. Tape. Double sided tape on all four sides pero yung isang side hindi natin siya pag-aabutin yung tape mag uh, magiiwan tayo ng gap siguro mga half an inch na gap hindi natin pag-aabutin yung tape dun sa isang side Mga half inch po. Okay, ito buo. Ito buo. Ito buo. Tapos yung isang side, hindi natin pag-aabotin yung tape. Mag-iiwan tayo ng gap. Half inch na gap. Bawal po ang pasmado. <laughs> Ah, buo. So, buo. Buo. Ayan. Same. But if you can't submerge that, submerge the book. Merong um dry spray, deacidifier, dry. Yeah, you lang. But technically, you can also spray them with that. Yeah. But the how to dry them? Um, you stand them up, stand them on their spine, just interleave. You put put blotting paper, example every twenty pages. Tapos you put it in a room with um circulating air. Tapos after said half an hour, you change the pages with with blotting paper. Palitan mo siya lang every thirty na man. Let's say every thirty. Ganon. Very brittle books. Every page. Yeah. Pero it's not advisable that you do washing now with the brittle books because they will really they will really uh, turn into pieces now. Especially if this kind of stuff is breaking up. Yes. Yes. Isang sheet lang, isang sheet lang. Ano yun? Ano yun? What size is it? 
natin kita ng date or dito lang po. Lahat na to. Lahat na yan. Tapos dito, siguro hanggang dito lang. So, hindi mo siya pag minit. Ah, hindi siya i-minit. Oo. Oh, oh. Para may lalabasan ng air mamaya. May bubbles. Lalabasan ng bubbles. Kung nakapasok na po yung tanong. Pag pinil mo siya, papasok na natin yung document. Pag pinil. Hap, 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 hap. Ayan na, sige, go. The idea kasi is you don't peel everything muna. One at a time. <laughs> Ayan, okay. So, ang purpose nitong gap na to is paglabasan ng air. Yun. Pero, if you want uh, document na lalabas pa siya, uh -oh, yung ito, hindi na ipipil. Mm -mm. Yeah, dyan na siya talaga. Hindi mo na siya tatanggalin. Mm, Polyest, ha? <laughs> eh, yan kasi yung ano eh. Hindi acidic eh. Opo, may binibilan. Ano yung kairosel kung saan bumibili? Opo. May thickness. Ay, nakaikot yan eh. Rolls. Parang plastic cover. Meron sa hardware. Sa ibang hardware, meron. Try nyo. Miss Rosel, anong asan ba? Anong thickness niyan? Anong gauge? <laughs> Makapal. Isa-isa lang ang tanggal. Oo, oh, oh. pag natanggal mo na siya, dikit mo na yung ito. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pag naka-encapsulate na din po siya, safe na na ipa-photocopy ng madalas. Kasi meron na siyang ano, buffer sa UV light. Yay. And kung yung document nyo po ay gusto nyong ilabas pa, pwedeng ito, huwag nyo na siya ipil. Kung papalitan nyo siya, o lalabas nyo pa yung document, ito permanent na siya. Dito na siya. Ah, kaya may ano, hindi flat. 
Oi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yan, yay! So, may finished product na po lahat ng groups. Very good. Madami daw papagawa si Ms. Rosel. So basically, yan lang po ang ating uh, treatment na gagawin ngayon. And we're done. Meron po ba kayong tanong? Bukod sa kung saan siya mabibili. <laughs> Yes po. Chat mo na lang later. Kami naman. <laughs> ano po yun? Ha? Polyester sheet. Mylar is the brand name. Pero ang tawag talaga sa kanya, polyester sheet. Ah, ah. Hindi. Okay. So, at this point, dadalhin nyo po yung outputs nyo sa harap, tapos magpipicture po tayo per group. Kunyari, ikaw yung ano, nahirapan. Ayaw niya mamatay, sariyo. Ayaw niya mamatay. Yung sinampay. Ah, picture sa sampayan. Thank <laughs> you. 